That was another frustrating thing. If you come here as the human, prepare never to eat anything off of the ground, because the human can't stoop that low with his mouth. Makes no sense. It's like, you're the human, and... Son of a gun. You're the human, you have the ability to use tools, you're the most intelligent of all other creatures, yet you can't stoop down to grab some fish off the ground. This is gonna be a long and arduous journey, isn't it? It's probably... it probably wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for the fact that they're monkeys! Outdone by monkeys, seriously. No, you get back here, you will be punished. By the power of the moon. And we'll eat your fish. Hope you're happy. What do we want? We kind of need a neck, I think. Extendo neck! Rawr! Cat horse! Well, alright. Enough grinding. Let's take this elevator and see where we can go. Okay, this this face is just driving me crazy. We gotta get the the horse jaws as, as soon as possible. Ow! Okay, long neck, not necessarily an advantage, apparently. Yes, yes, thank you, Gaia. You've been defeated, blah, blah, blah. So our goal, obviously, is just to... go through the Monkey Mountain. I mean, there's not much storyline to this part of the game. I guess it's kind of insinuating, of course, that humans are now starting to evolve in the form of the monkey and all sorts of goodness like that. Yeah, seriously, I don't think this neck is doing us any good. Charge! Is there anything we could do to increase our ramming capability, I wonder? Let's think. What is the ramming stat based on? Is it based on your weight? Or is it based on your jaws? Well, we went from the cat jaws to the... Or from the mouse jaws to the cat jaws, and we didn't see any increase in the power of our bites. I don't know. It's always a bit hazy when you get to the mammal era, because there's so many... unique to... Oh, dear word! Don't want it! Bad monkeys. We can't even get you. Fine, whatever. But anyway, as I was saying, there's so many distinctions, so many different uh, different ways to evolve the mammal. I laugh at that monkey. That I, it's harder to remember exactly what stat is paired with what. And it, honestly, when you become a mammal, it's more about style. It's more about the way you want to play. The first time I played this game, I went with the rhino body and created some monstrosity kind of resembling a rhino with, like, what kind of teeth did I have? I'm pretty sure I had some crazy teeth. Like, fierce jaws, I'm pretty sure. So, I was basically like a rhino with lion teeth. Lately, though, I found I prefer the horse's kicking ability. However, that kicking really doesn't seem to be helping us against these monkeys. Come back here, monkey! No! Go away, monkey! We need to heal on this rock-throwing monkey guy. Hey, guess what? We don't care about you. Go ahead, jump from ceiling to ceiling. No rock-throwing! Oh, whoa, did we seriously find the exit? Already? Awesome. Oh, son of a gun! This is not the exit. I don't want to do this. All right, let's do this. You remember the yetis that we fought previously? Well, prepare to fight their ancestors. Who did it? I wonder who came into our sanctuary without permission. No one can damage the yeti burial ground. Oh, I can hear the sad voices of our ancestors. Daddy! Mommy! <laughs> oh boy, you've got issues, buddy. Finally, the time has come. We should revenge our yeti humiliation. I will not waste my time. Our humiliation will end. Prepare to fight the boxing yeti of doom. In fact, he just killed us. If we didn't pull up the menu, we would be dead. Um, I... 
guess we'll evolve mouse-like jaws now? Don't ask. Just don't get hit by this guy ever. In fact, I think we're gonna review our evolution and morph into something older. Like, uh, didn't we save the dragon at some point? Frog Ray, Mr. Limpet, the fish, Ridley, that's right, that's what we call the dragon. In reference to Super Metroid. Ridley time it is! Only here, in the world of EVO, will you see a dragon fighting a yeti. <laughs> Still not convinced this game is awesome? I think your argument is invalid. Yeah, so we could try and bite him, but, I mean, this horn does 25 damage. I'm gonna take advantage of it. That and the fact that we can fly. Oh, thank goodness. Honestly, if you don't evolve into something powerful there, I don't have a good strategy for you to beat him. I'm sure someone's figured it out, and it's definitely not impossible to beat him as a mammal. I've done it before. I've beaten him as a dinosaur. I've also beaten him as a pterodactyl. Blah, blah, blah. But that's probably the easiest way to do it right there. So we defeated the Yeti. Yet again. That was not meant to be a Yeti joke, yet again. Anyway. But, I, I just don't see why we did that. I mean, yeah, I, I get it, I get it, you know. Um, he attacked us, he's a Yeti, yeah. But, I mean, why? Why did we do that? We did slaughter his ancestors' parents, you know what I mean? But anyway, this is another interesting part of the game that actually references the biblical story of the Tower of Babel, or Babel, depends on how you pronounce it. But everyone knows, or at least if you don't know, let me briefly explain. The Tower of Babel is the story about uh, the people of the earth trying to build a tower that reached so high that they would be on on the same level as God, if not build a tower that was up higher than God, you know? And so, and then God struck them down and uh, caused them all to have the different languages. And that's how, you know, it's... It, there's a lot of different views on it, but, you know, it, roughly you can kind of say that's how Christians believe that... Um, the believe that all the different languages appeared in the in the world, um, you know. Say about that what you will. I mean, I'm a Christian, um, but even even sometimes I think that story sounds a little almost too folklory. But uh, who knows? Regardless, this story here is slightly based off of it. A long time ago, our ancestors built a castle that reached far into the sky. They had tried to reach the universe, but were removed by a strange force. That is why we don't have wings. I guess. Wasn't it, weren't weren't there fossils or something found somewhere of birds without wings or uh, I don't really know but these birds are gonna kill us anyway maybe we can kick one to death ah birds without wings more deadly than you think at any rate congratulations you've grant been granted the right to grind more for exp have a nice day. But sort of an interesting story as to why this bird doesn't have wings. If I was a more studious type, I would be able to present you with maybe a little more information as to whether this bird actually exists or not, but... Fine, we'll just walk through you. Ow, son of a gun. Anyway, you're supposed to be able to come over here... ...and... ...teleport. But, uh, we're not teleporting. Oh, there we go. Took me forever to figure that out. Now, if memory serves correctly, we have to come here- OH YEAH, THAT'S RIGHT, QUEEN BEE TIME! How I- How great the one living- Okay, I'm not gonna do that voice. How great the one living in the north is. He made us big, and we are grateful. We can't let you pass because we are showing our respect for- Ah, jeez! Okay, so, welcome to Queen, Queen Bee Level 2. It's blue, and it's angry, and it hurts just as much as the old one. In fact, I think we're going to leave. <laughs> yeah. No, we can't. We're stuck here. We have to beat this thing. You have got to be kidding me! I think we might turn dragon on this thing. Actually, I... pretty much 100%. What? No. Bad. Bad. Cancel. 
No. Did we just... We just recorded over the... Oh, you serious? Uh, oh, that is not good. I just destroyed maybe our one and only hope of defeating this thing. Nah, what do we do? Okay, do we have anything else? We did get the elephant. Woody, what's Woody? Woody? Oh, that's the bird. Definitely not as powerful as- No, bad! Alright, we only have a few evolution points to do this. I wonder actually if we can just run and teleport back to the other side of the world here. Teleport! Oh, it actually works. Well, we're not going to mess with that Queen Bee just yet. We're actually going to come down here. There's a reason for us coming over here. I can't remember. Oh, here it is. I am Gaia. Please do me a favor. The crystal turned the Rogons into violent creatures. They have been attacking the whales. Save the whales! Please defeat the Rogons and save the whales. Aye, aye, Captain. Mysterious time stream involves you. Welcome to strange moment of EVO number 75. Being a sea lion. What, you got another name for it? Sea lion mouse? Come on, can't even kill a coal fish here? Oh, we can still kick. That's good news. How much are you guys worth? One. One hit point. We kind of do look like a sea lion, or maybe an otter. Maybe you could call us an otter. Hey guys, what's up? Ow. Ow. Okay, enough. Why don't you go die? 100 EXP, I could actually really get into this. It's a quick and easy 100 EXP. Well, anyway, what we have to do here, obviously, is go save the Rogons, but this is actually another part of the game where you can get kind of, I guess you could call it a hidden evolution, a secret evolution. Honestly, it's more gimmicky than helpful, and it's going to make this next part of the dungeon particularly difficult, but we're going to do it anyway. When you're in the water, as a mammal, go to hands and feet and click try and evolve. However, it looks like we're short on EXP, and since I was dying like a dumb person, we're not going to have the EXP required to do it, which means more grinding, and it means more listening to this annoying song! Can you tell we have rage problems? I, I don't... I don't have rage problems. I don't know what you're talking about. Die, copies of Lapras! Die! Oh, we have 2,000. Although I'm weary. I'm weary that we should evolve immediately into the whatever we're going to evolve into, simply because I'm sure it's weaker, and I'm sure it would be harder to grind for EXP. I'm gonna shoot for 4,000 here. I'm sorry, friends, but welcome to EVO. Y you're watching this Let's Play. You knew this was going to come at some point. It has to. As fun as this game is, it is the game of grinding. In fact, this game definitely didn't invent grinding, but uh, was well ahead of its time as far as MMOs go. <laughs> and obviously this isn't an MMO, so that statement really didn't make much sense. Laughing at your own joke and then explaining why it didn't make sense. Awkward. At any rate, we're passing the time. We only have 11 more to go. Please die. Very large disadvantage, however, of having to kick your opponents is you can't be facing them. It's a little easier to do underwater, though. I will say that. A little hard when you can only move in, uh, well, really only two dimensions, left and right. Of course, that would actually be one dimension, wouldn't it? Because up and down counts as the second dimension. And then length and width counts as the third, I believe. And then depending on who you are, the fourth dimension can change. Some people say the fourth dimension is time. Others say it's the ability to travel between space in a fourth dimension. I don't know. I like time. I think time makes the most sense. 500! All right, let's do it. Evolve the hands and feet. You'll turn into this thing! Yeah! Actually, this does look like a seal. Or, not a seal. A sea otter. 